Hello everybody, it's Connor for Let's Game Out, and this is the epic conclusion part three of James Tony versus George Foreman. The boxing matchup dream fight, I guess you could call it. And uh, I'll give you to uh, the commentators to uh, finish off this game. Thanks for watching. Well, you know, that's a great question. My approach is that I have to remind him that he's on common ground. He's probably going to think he's in a place where he's never been before, but I'm going to be not, hey, remember you got to hurt the gym and then give him something to correct the problem. You know, tell him some technical things that he needs to hear. Good exchange, scoring well with the right hand. Oh, George Foreman stunned and staggered. All right, punch it up.
Foreman's got to realize that his work rate has really dropped off the cliff. I know he got stunned earlier in this fight, but at this point, he has to at least put forth some type of aggression. He's got to get himself back in this fight. Yeah, what you're saying is not just that he's got to be physical, because we understand that, but where does it start? It starts with the mental part. He has to behave like a pro, behave like a fighter. Judges just barely on the split decision give it to George Foreman. Oh, that was a close bout, and that was probably the closest one I've seen the computers fight each other. It was definitely one to remember, and uh, yeah, I mean, if it wasn't, who knows, maybe if it wasn't for the, uh, for the time clock, Tony might have been knocked out there at the end. Who knows, but uh, either way, please leave a comment for which fighter you'd like to see fight each other next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on Let's Game Out.